What's going on everybody and welcome back to a very special video here on EA Sports PGA Tour. If you've been following along up until this point, we have made it to the back quarter of this season. You can see we are seven weeks left before the end of our season one. It's hard to believe we have grinded for so many tournaments up until this point and we have arrived week 26 at St. Andrews. The, the, the course, the home of, home of golf, for the open championship i'm super excited i've been looking forward to this one probably my most anticipated since the masters obviously the the fourth and final major of the year uh it's they're all very special in their own right but ranking on a scale of you know which majors i like more than others this one is definitely right up there with the masters tournament so very very much looking forward to being at the home of golf the old course at st andrews and looking to just finally have our final shot to piece everything that we know we can do together and walk out of here with a major win on the season. We've done well up into this point. We have five PGA Tour wins, but if you if you missed the last couple of videos, I talked about how two of them were, were at kind of, you know, filler tournaments, made up tournaments with not tournament style conditions. So we don't really include those. We realistically have three real um, PGA Tour wins, including the Players' Championship. So we do, we are familiar with that high stake event. We know we can get it done. We finished second at the Masters, second at the PGA Championship, top 10 at the US Open. And now we have our final chance of the year, of the season, to try and be a major winner in our first season. It's going to be a tall task. There's a lot of players playing exceptionally well. You know we're going into San Andrews and it's going to be extremely tough conditions. But let's, without further ado, let's dive right in. We have some, some beautiful outfits picked out. Our, our bag is looking clean. We are, you know, all fleshed out to have a great tournament. But tournament settings... 10 to 15 mile per win wins right off the start in Scotland. So it's going to be absolutely crazy. Let's dive into the presentation at this beautiful golf course. Let's get ready for our final major of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fun ride up until this point. I hope you guys have been enjoying all these videos. Let's see if we can get it done. This is a simple game, really. Golf. So why does it confound us so? Could it be the elements, the obstacles in our way, the pressure? The answer, of course, is all of it. And nowhere is it magnified more than here, at the birthplace of our game itself. This is St. Andrews, and this is the Open Championship. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for, the final. EA Sports, that major of the in year. conjunction with the RNA, present golf's oldest major and the final major championship of the year. From Let's the get it, baby. Golf, Let's get the it. Old course at St. Andrews. It's the opening round. All right. Well, we got an early tee time again, 8:30 in the morning. So we're gonna we're gonna this have to gonna be the be one that set a good score out there. Of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend, and we take a par four, 376 yards. Scoreable, but tough. We've tough conditions the out there today. At two under par. Looks Meanwhile, like storms around. Featured golfer, ready to begin the quest for the iconic. Larry Here we go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, this well, is it. Tee box number one. Our open tournament is officially underway. And we are left with a monster opening hole one. Very short. I shouldn't say the hole is monster, but a very high pressure shot here with the wind years. kicking so 10 to 15 mile per hour right off the weekend. start. Let's get off to a hot start. I didn't even know that stat, Rich. Um, I, I think you just keep putting one foot in front there of the other. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. To get ahead of yourself. The, the rest of the week is up to us. As this one is sailing and, farther you know, and farther down the right crazy. side and needs to actually stop. The with these, everybody teeing off the, uh, the first hole. So um, I'm not going to say expect the unexpected. We all know that. But, but really, it's just don't get ahead of yourself. And bad breaks are part of playing in an open championship. It is a bounce of roll game. Remember that. So sometimes something hits straight at the flag. It's going to finish 30 or 40 feet away. If you're prepared for that before you even tee off, then it doesn't come as a, as a surprise. And then hopefully just try and be the last man standing. Well, Final you heard you heard them talking here, about it. It's a uh, out here is a game of 
Uh, bounces and rolls and unlucky breaks and maybe I should have just clubbed down knowing that it was going to do that I haven't played link style golf in a very long time in this video game I thought being 360 to that water I thought with 10 to 15 mile per hour winds case stop with the novel no we all know that but there's no shoe in favorite this week as well so everybody starts on scratch start of the week but if they really can learn quickly all right, these guys need to shut up. Year. Holy and jumpins. Just get themselves into contention as quick as possible. You never know. It might just be a great long shot. Yeah, so now that they're done talking about their, their college entry, uh, you know, essays that they wrote for each other. Jeez, a wheeze. Holy crap. That was like 10 minutes long. But anyway, that was my own mistake. You know, I saw 360 on the scorecard to the water. I was like, you know, wind is slightly in our face left to right. It's going to take off yardage. But it's St. Andrews after all. It's link style courses. It's going to be playing fast. It's going to be playing firm. That was an errant mistake by my par. Well but done, we get up and down for the par. The, first. the scorecard looks no worse for wear. Level par. That's just going to be the nature of the game. It's going to roll out 60, 70 yards out here. And that's just something that I have to be aware of. And I have to know from, from the very first tee box. And now I know. I mean, even if it says 360, 370 to carry things, it could probably get there traveling 290 in the air just because it will have that 70 yard rollout. So of this double green then really you want to be coming in from the right side but nonetheless we'll load up here for for our second second tee shot we know the wind is going to carry this one to the right so we'll just aim it up the left side of the fairway <clears throat> probably got this one relatively close to the green good tee shot there perfect tempo a little bit of a weird follow through but should not be uh should not be hurting there beautiful tee shot 302 carry and there you go i mean look at this much better tee unbelievable out here in the fairway it will just go basically add close to 100 yards on every single shot that is easily 400 yards 410 yard drive ladies and gentlemen on number two that is why last hole we should have clubbed down so not a all right we got a pitch shot to go here as he'll set up his second this I think I'm four. actually going to just try and chase a spinner onto this hill right here and let it feed back down if I can. But we got to get it to the hill. We don't want to be short. Here we go. Oh, man, I flew that to the flag stick. Well, not my best shot okay, there and everything is by. fast, Safely so not... Game. I think, like, like I said, I think, I think the idea was the exactly what I wanted to do. That, I just executed that pretty poorly. Time winner on the PGA Tour, Nota Begay. And he's going to have to contend with both a downhill putt and one that's going to move significantly to his left. We talk about this in every major, but guys, this is going to be a very uh, High-focus situation. What an unbelievable slope, putt at two. An unbelievable putt after a very mediocre pitch shot. Great to get us off and running it in the red numbers here early. But anyway, we talk about this all the time. Major tournaments, there's going to be a lot more focus, a lot less, you know, conversation between shots. I will still try and do my best to explain every shot, but these are the tournaments that I'm still playing the game for. These are the Not tournaments that, you know, you definitely want to try and win. Course, but if it's behind you, Last chance, too. So we, we got to focus up. We got to play well. Right Here we go. Hole number three, 370 yards. Got to club down because we know we're just going to we're gonna send that one through. Going to club down to a three wood. Try and get this one out there to about 280. And we can probably get close to a 100-yard rollout. <laughs> San Andrews looking absolutely beautiful under the sunshine. You don't see a lot of sunshine around here in real life. So if the game's got it, you got to enjoy it. And this one seems to be going a really good distance. It's going to have a hard time getting up over these hills, swing, but this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. If it gets back down this hill on the left side here, perfect. I think this is going to be an absolutely beautiful location. To try and get up and down for a second straight birdie. Again, birdies are going to be it's a scorable course by by no means is San Andrews a difficult scoring course in theory. But when you add the undulation, so you add the wind, you add the elements that you know to the things, four. elements that this this tournament just brings all right we're gonna try and we're trying to spin this one again i'm gonna add a little bit of loft this time i'm not gonna try and carry it as far sit right there sit right there sit right there oh my word holy jumpins and these are saint andrew's greens for you okay we're gonna have to adjust to that really quickly i don't think a pitch shot i don't think pitch shots or full attention 
a huge swing left to right. Pitch on this shots and spinners, I don't think are going to cut it around here. They're just too fast, too firm. You can see that ridge that we're on right after the start. So that's going to kick the ball to the right. So we do actually want to be quite a ways out to the left here. Right now, the oper the the goal at hand is just to get this one close to the flag for hopefully a tap in par. If it goes in, great. This is a good looking putt, but we just lose it on the low mm -hmm. side. Okay. Good pace, I'd just a little bit misread of the break. Two feet, ten range. inches. We'll tap in. Our guy looked a little upset, but I mean, he should know anything. Anything that's not over par is a very good score, including pars. So, so good, good start here. Ends. One under through par three. And he'll remain in red figures. But it's hard to believe that we're already, you know, what? Seven weeks remaining on the first season. And that's, you know, incredibly, the sport's been outstanding. Kind of been talking about it a little bit over the last few videos that, you know, I think you're going to see less frequency of videos, but you're still going to see as many tournaments as we can pump out. At the time of this recording, we're a few days off for, um, for the new Formula One game. And if you know anything about me, I'm super into Formula One and I have a lot of fun series planned for that event or for that game. So it's just natural that a game that's been out for a couple months will start to teeter off a little bit in terms of frequency, but it doesn't mean that, you know, the series is necessarily going away. We're going to continue into season two. And I mean, the ultimate goal is to win all four majors. I think, I think if you can achieve that, then I think that you've done your part and you can be happy hanging up the, the, Hanging up the, the golf bag, so to speak. But we're a long way off from that. I just want to be very, very clear. My intentions with this game once other games start rolling out is it'll it, it'll take a little bit of a backseat. It'll still be there. It's not going away. That is but, you know, when we when this shot. game came out, we were dropping There's a video no every 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 day for five days of the week. That uh, then we kind of switched to three days a week. And now it's it's kind of been teetering to about, you know, somewhere close to two videos maybe three a week if we're lucky but for me i think that's going to slowly like i said teeter off a bit and just be one maybe two videos that's assuming that formula one isn't another completely buggy mess because if it's another buggy mess i won't be playing it very long like the last game but i'm very hopeful for this one there's a lot of reports okay. that the handling the green, of the cars is a lot smoother a lot better so looking forward to that but now this, enough talk we got to focus on our, our game here that was a much a better spinner shot there some didn't leave us in the Sliding best shot or best right putt location end. again but i mean is there really any putt location that isn't crazy moving because of the green undulation so for this one again the idea is just to get it within Within tap in range for a par. If it goes in, great. Lost on the low side. So I think everything is moving no, just a smidge more than I'm thinking because pace has right. been really good. Hitting the putts exactly where I'm aiming them. Just coming up a bit on the low side. So okay, we'll try and adjust for that. But again, off. scorecard so is, is squeaky clean. We got the birdie out too. That birdie putt was absolutely incredible. And we'll keep moseying along. Like, I, I think being out as an early group, I think that number you saw at the top is probably going to be the benchmark. I can't see too many guys going much lower than that. Maybe a couple at four under. But the open is not easy, ladies and gentlemen. It's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. So we definitely got to we gotta put all the pieces together this weekend because it's only going to get it's only going to get tougher. You can get a pass those this this path. 543. Again, it's playing much shorter with the rollout with the win so we're gonna take a driver here i think i think we'll be aggressive when we can be if there's not trouble in play you might as well take a full a full rip into a lot of these holes because you can get it really close into that into that you know wedge wedge location Ooh, what a bad kick that was though oh my lord this could roll out though okay it'll roll out into the fur the the rough there that was a crazy a weird bounce. That because it yeah, he's a little rough and it appears little, to be little over there. <laughs> But I think uh, on shorter holes, I think we might lay back quite a bit because the pitch shot is a lot tougher on link style greens. So I think it makes sense to try and be around that one, 100, 150 yards, somewhere around there for a full swing. Now we got 158. I'm going to try and hack this one out with the wind. This might seem weird clubbing down to a P wedge, but I just know how these things are going to roll. Yeah, I mean, it wanted me to shoot a seven iron there. No shot. That is a great out from where we were. That's going to be an extremely tough putt as we're on this shared green here. 
like but it. we got I ourselves, like you know, a reasonable putt out of that thick rough. You never know what can happen. And so now, I mean, now to bring this par five to its knees, a long eagle putt. Everything is filtering the whole way. Long eagle putt. This is going to be tough to get this one close. But again, if we can get it just over that hill, we get to that flat part of the green. We'll have a chance to get another birdie here. Oh, my word. That was a great putt. Let me tell you, when yeah, that came off the club, case. it just immediately snapped to the left. But once it got over that hill, away. it was dead straight. That's exactly what I was anticipating it doing. And we have left ourselves with a tap-in birdie here at the par five to get to Nicely two played. under. And I'll say, after, after that first tee shot found the water, I'm extremely happy that we are remaining even or not even two under but we're our, our score clean card has remained bogey free and we are squeaky clean up into this point another very very short par four 374 yards this is gonna be a tough shot because you clearly can't take driver into this you see that massive hill in front of the green you hit that and it's just gonna roll on so unfortunately i don't think driver's the play three wood might not get there but I mean, I just know for a fact that driver is too much. We're going to aim well out to the left. The wind is kicking 15 mile per hour back to the right. So as long as we can get it to those front hills, I think that'll be a good shot. If we have the legs and we have the pace, I think we can actually get it over that with the three wood. Oh, wow. We're a long way no back here. That is into the fairway. Mm, I still think driver would have found ourselves near the grandstands just because of you know, you add probably 30 yard carry to that, which would add to a lot more roller. You know, I'm okay with that. I, that I've talked about it. I'm bomb. fine with now comes the touch shot. 83, 84 yards. See if can I'm play fine with it being a little bit short. Now we got a full wedge, stop. which is still tough. 71 yard playing flag is what? 80, 85 wins going to add to this. Maybe not that far back. Play this about a 74 yard shot. Tell you what, in terms of wedge Look, shots, that that's eight or nine feet. I don't know about that's that, about as good as you can do out here. Shot. You know, some nine tournaments you see that that birdie. finesse shot just snap back, but out here in St. Andrews, just not the case, man. It's just not the case. All right, down the hill putt, right to left, very slightly, playing on the right right side. If it's even gonna break that much, <laughs> dead straight, dead straight. I should have just played it straight. It said the ball was, when I was aimed at the hole, it said the, the cup was, you know, a tiny bit below my feet. So, bit of a misread from me. That's okay. Nicely read there. That's a birdie. A you definitely look it back. And, and, and when the tournament's all over, if you didn't end up winning, that's one that you could look at and be like, damn, that's a missed opportunity. But I'm not going to be upset about it. I hit the putt exactly where I aimed it. I was anticipating, you know, a ball or two worth of movement. It stayed absolutely dead straight. It is what it is. You know, you're not going to read everything right out here. That's about as straight of a putt as you can get. And we misread it. No big deal. We're still two under par. Loving all of these graphics for the open. 288. I think we will. Oh, man. What a tough hole, though. Pin placement over that bunker right in my landing zone. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have to. I think we have to lay up. I think we have to. I, I, don't, I don't know how I clear that massive bunker with a driver. So I think I think we'll just bail out to the left. Because I can't I can't carry the ball 330 yards in the air. It can roll out for sure. But that, that bunker would just be an absolute nightmare to try and get out of. So, land it pretty much perfect where we needed it to without going back up into this big ridge. So, landed it in the in the thick stuff. It rolls out, gets a good friendly kick out of that fescue. And now we're on a pretty flat a part. 114 to the flag. To the par four. I think I actually have to club down to a 60. Get some spin. Wow. 
Wow, that win is absurd. I clubbed down 30 arm, yard, or 30 sure. feet short as as of the pin. Finish, but and still, it still ended up, what, 40 feet past? Putt, but Oof. A bending putt. Strong right to left in this one. They'll be very pleased just to right get this at the end. It looks like it's going to it's going to snap right at the end as well. It's it's right to left the whole way. And then right at the cup, you can see you can see right at the cup. It's almost it's almost like the cup is on a complete slide. So this is going to be a tough putt. It's going to start funneling back down. It's going to take a wicked snap. Oh, Close. We had it. We had it, and we needed putt. another, you know, six inches of rollout, and I think that would have been in the back of the cup, but a really good putt there. Again, it's playing for two putts off. around here is not the end of the world. We head to the par three eighth. We're almost on our front nine here in St. Andrews. It's hard to believe it's it's coming by very, very quickly. That's the thing about looking forward to these major tournaments is they come and go so damn quickly. It's like they're here and then they're over. Pretty, pretty wild. Hopefully I don't sound too crazy. It is, uh, it is horrible weather outside right now. My allergies are absolutely crushing me. It is... It is, uh, okay, well, my controller is doing that thing where every shot is setting up to be a massive shot shape on it, and I don't know why it does that. But anywho, what I was trying to say was, um, woke up today, it was, it's been, you know, 25 degrees Celsius every day. Woke up today, and it is cold and rainy, and it is destroying my allergies. What is the weather today? 15 degrees and pouring rain. Yay. So... If I sound a little, uh, a little muffled or a little snotty, it's because I am. <laughs> Whoa! Wind? Okay, clubbing up was not the right call. Boy, this is just way too much club for a front hole location. That was Yeah, but it was overcooked. 15 mile per hour winds directly back into my face. How could you even say that that's not the right club choice? All right, well, St. Andrews is a bitch. <laughs> Now we're gonna try and long flop this one back to that. Oh, this is a great flop shot. Let's go. We'll take that every day of the week. This is gonna be such a tough putt. Yep, played that nicely. That'll work out just fine. All right, well, if we look at this putt, it's gonna bounce and bobble the whole way there. But I mean, it looks almost dead straight. And this is important. This is to save par. It looks like it could go a smidge to the left. I just don't want to play too much in case it, it's dead straight. Okay. Oh, we hammered that, there. but we got it in. A That's a great par eight. save right there at number eight. He'll remain right where he is. Wow, 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 wow. All right, well, we're hanging with the we're hanging with the best of the best early in our round. We are 200 par, currently third place solo. We got off to that early tee time, so obviously there's going to be a lot of guys scoring late. But we talked about it. If, if in major tournaments you have an early tee time, it is your course to, to set something. All right, par four, 293, into the wind. Or I guess it's, what, three something? 367, apologies. But it's playing... Probably playing more like 300 yards with the rollout. Would we flight that? 280. Okay, so it's playing probably yeah, about 310, 320. Good, good follow through and a good start to this hole. Good shot there, though. Left ourselves with you know a 50 yard shot. Again, that's probably not actually the smart way of playing that hole. So These the pitch shots are shot very, very here, challenging. Second from relatively close range. But we are into the wind, so we should be able to give this one a full swing. The wind should stop it. We should be able to get a spinner kind of nestled in there pretty close. I can't see it having as much run out as those other holes. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful spin shot. Obviously, the wind kind of peeled it off to the left just a smidge from where we were aiming. But this would be a definitely give ourselves off the front side. a good look here. Had a birdie to get three under on the front and tie those guys who also shot three under par. 
Oh, and I pulled it. I yanked no, it. It's gonna miss right. Oh, Michael. And a good opportunity goes by the wayside. Yep, that is a missed opportunity from a big old human error. That was a terrible putting stroke. Well, we can say the St. Andrew nerves yeah, maybe got to us there, it's but in for par here at the ninth. Dang it, that was terrible. And that's gonna make this a two under thirty-four. That was for just a poorly side. executed putt. Human error, no, no big deal. We we'll take two under par here through nine Andrews, every day. Really My nose is the history. This whole name so of the legendary right now. Bobby Jones who won the nineteen twenty seven open in the nineteen thirty uh. amateur. Obviously, 1930 was his Grand Slam year. I think that's why I, I like July better than June. June, you still have the rain that comes in all the time, and the pollen is still freshly in the air. I just feel so bad. Play this 340-yard par 4 tenth. 382 yards. That doesn't make sense. It says 340 yards, but the flag is 382. <laughs> Somebody messed up the championship graphics. I still think the smart play is laying up. I just can't see myself carrying it that far. And then you leave yourself in with a tough, a tough pitch shot. And I just don't want tough pitch shots. This will still probably go too far where I need a pitch shot. Oh, wind. All right. Well, that sucks. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive. All right, but we got a rough. full swing, 100 yards. So tee shot at 10. Now out of the rough. Seven. Gonna need good contact here. It's not gonna be a full swing, probably like an 80% swing. Land soft. Okay, we'll take that every day out of the rough. That's a good shot. 11 feet, and 6 really inches here. I feel like we're playing absolutely beautifully here early. In our tournament, to go. you really can't be too upset with how we're playing at the moment. Just down the or up the hill, right to left. Not much. Maybe a cup. Might be a little bit more than this, but the way things have been breaking, or I guess lack thereof break, we're just gonna play this a little bit more straight than. Oh, we hammered it. That's gonna hammered it. Right. Maybe Probably not even the right out. lie. That was that was almost a dead straight putt. I think the ones where I'm reading it a little bit of a break, I'm probably just going to start playing it straight at the hole so because while far, there is a lot of undulation side. from distance on these screens, right the putts within like 10 to 12 feet have kind of all felt really straight. And like I think that is just the nature of being closer to the pin. Yeah, this hole was made famous by Here we go, par three, 174. Where Bobby Jones, when Look at that bunker. I mean, you do not want to end up in there. Bunker, so in the end, he actually ripped up his scorecard. Uh, a lot's changed since then, but the hole hasn't lost its luster. Here we go. Club down, nine iron. Ball's going to be moving a ton to the right. Just do not be in that bunker is all I'm thinking about. And we have cleared that bunker. That's good. We'll be on the green. We'll be a long way from the pin, but that is a safe okay, shot. A we have shot. a putt, Front which around here the at the at the tenth is probably more than a lot of people would ask up. for. We go to Iona Stevens. All right, big. I mean, yeah, this is as big of a breaker right as you can left. get. And we're going back up the slope, but just ever so slightly. So you have to prioritize that line. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh, we left it a bit yeah, short that's again. A good effort right there. Oh, We've my word. All my good putts have been like six that. inches short. That is wild. All right. Well, we have a comeback here up the hill. Pretty straightforward. Tapper in for so a par. And we will head to the 12th. Uh, did I say par 3 10th? I meant 11th. Right we are at the par 4 12th now. We're just kind of moving along as you see. There's a couple low scores being dropped out there. Those are the scores that can win guys tournaments. You get out to a hot start at a major tournament in these kind of scoring conditions. You're you're setting yourself up pretty, but I mean we're in no no position to be upset about. 311. Then you really got to worry about those four beautifully and well strategic. 279 to that bunker. So we actually want to aim more towards the pin than I think. I would much rather be in the rough at a link style course than a bunker. 
But as we get closer, the Canadian Open is now over at the time of this recording. A Canadian has finally won the damn thing. It would have been cool to see Rory McIlroy three-peat, but unfortunately his fourth round just wasn't there. So to see Taylor come in and, and win for the Canadian guys, being a Canadian myself, was really cool. 69 years since a Canadian has Drivable last won our four. nation's event. Not for most in this but field, with that but over, it means guy, the U.S. Open yes, is upon us. A very, it's going to be a very, a very shot. entertaining Open. This looks dead straight. I can't see any movement on this. And in fact, I said that last time. I'm going to play it dead straight. It moved to the left. But mm, that is another, with, with being able nice to drive the green like we just did, we have a along. birdie putt upcoming. This to get us to three under, and we are just moving along Nothing so nicely it. here it's in Scotland. What an unbelievable yeah, round for, for, British now, or for an back. Open Championship. But yes, we have the um, the U.S. Open upon us in real life, which should mean we are getting our third major update at some point in the next little while to gear up for that. Hopefully they don't skip out on it because, you know, the players or the PGA is completely gone. It is over. All the tournaments are gone out of the online play. So we should see some U.S. Open stuff, which means, you know, some fixes, some new content, new course, probably new shops. So when that drops, we're going to be doing a review of all of that in, in anticipation of it. So hopefully sooner rather than later, when we could expect that, we're going to aim out at this little tower, let the wind funnel it back to the left. Good swing on this. A little fast. Club twirl, he likes it. And we should stay clear of this rough, maybe? Wow, that first bounce looks so good. So unfortunately, come back down that hill all the way. Come on. Nah. It was a little too it flat to come rock, back down the hill, but absolutely crushed. I actually didn't think we could get not that one into the wind. Not a real you know, three, three seventy or whatever. We just just rolled shot. it up to. All right, well, we're gonna need a good shot here. It's out of this thick rough. It's gonna be kicking to the to the left anyway, and then the wind's gonna take it to the left. So we're gonna have to aim out way to the right of the pin. Get a good full contact on this. A little bit slow. That's gonna send it a little bit more right than we wanted. Get a good kick onto the green. That is a pretty solid shot out of that rough. We'll take that every day of the week. Ah, good shot. Safe. Might not look like a lot, but that is a phenomenal a shot we just we just put together there. All right, down the hill. Well, Everything I've been down the hill, I've been a little like bit slow on. So to gonna try and add just a smidge more power than we're used to. Left to right, not a lot though. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. And he's going to move to four ladies and gentlemen par, with a birdie there. We had to a par five, five and the opportunity to go three straight birdies five, at the open championship is something that is I would have never five, thought we were going to be able to do uh, here. The out of and the rock, now so I, I'm does move to the rock. all right. Heads down. Uh, let's try and get into the clubhouse with this number or 500 after this hole. 14 second shot par five that tee shot away from that crop of bunkers called the birdies. Is a big cross bunker up ahead that has to be avoided for the second shot. Yep, good um, shot there. Long enough, you can reach this I mean, the wind is just taking 30 yards off all these shots. So it is anything when you have that much flat. movement with the wind and you're coming right to left or left to right, and it's just it's straight against sideways, you're going to lose a ton, a ton of, of distance. Going to take a big poke 292 to, get to the flag stick. We got a power approach three wood. Five. Let's see if we can muster this one up there. I don't think we can be able to check this one under the green, but. Anywhere close, I think, would be a sensational shot. This one looks to be really good. Get a good kick. Stay off the green, though, please. Stay off the green, though, please. Thank you. Thank you. We do not want to be putting up that sure giant ridge. That is a four-foot false par five front. Two. No but way you would ever see me attempt birdie. that. All right. 60 degree. We do not need a high flop in these winds. Thank you very much. Normal flop, 56 degree. Let's get it close. Oh, I tugged it. I tugged it to the right. That would have been absolutely money. I had a chance to actually go in the hole if I hit that straight. Seven feet now. But a down the hill putt. Slight life to light to ret. <laughs> Left to right. Apologies. It's like eight in the morning before work. 
and we just oh, limp it in, baby, on the left here. side. Three straight birdies for birdie. five under par here at the open. This is unheard of. We have now tied the lead with four holes remaining, course, all par fours. You know you're coming up to those classic ones where, you know, 17, 18, you can take a rip at all of these and get it within within 100 yards for another couple birdie chances. So this is this is sensational golf here coming, but we said we, we played well, uh, very, very well in the last few weeks here. Our golfer is probably the highest rated he's going to get to in the game. We're up to 92. We can't level up anymore. 92 is kind of the cap. We've worked hard all season. We put things together during the majors. It just hasn't worked out for all four rounds. So to be able to come into the open at a very difficult ah, St. Andrews, hole, we right? just find the rough there. Ran out of fairway and into the rough. To be able to Big come in here and put together a round like we've got and this is, is very, very left, exciting. Great thick rough on the left-hand side, hitting towards one of the trickiest greens on the course. Oh, go. Go. Go! And there is the wind into our face coming in. So club it's up there, to take an extra club and it just, it just, just because it's always in the back of your mind if you hit it properly. Just doesn't didn't do what I wanted it to. This is a he very very delicate chip. Everything he had, and he really gouged it, and still, it was short. Stop! Stop on that hill. Oh boy. And there is these back nine greens in full display ladies so and gentlemen you got to pin that is up on that tiny tomorrow. little hill just goes to show what and happens I mean, when you don't find these greens in regulation now he's looking at two putts maybe three from where he is oh god this is an impossible pin placement man this is a mean pin placement go in oh my oh, word my what god. a putt that's what a absolute feet. beautiful putt that pace was perfect and i thought we got it in but back down the hill this will be our first drop shot okay, at st andrews but 15. realistically that bogey feels yeah, like a birdie when you see what we had to deal with that's a brutal pin placement there on number 15. i actually am shocked with where they cut that cup famous for the principal's nose i mean look at this beautiful grandstands up down the right side as we approach the hotel complex here in the in the st andrews little town there but good cheese shot is required on every single one of these you not only avoid the principal's nose but you hit the tee shot a little bit further left it might lengthen the hole but it is certainly uh the more prudent strategy Looks to be a good tee shot. Yeah, beautiful. It's one of the thinner fairways out here, still out of probably about yeah, 50, 60 yards. This Thursday and that another fine effort off. Yeah, the good, good shot there into you know very difficult winds where this whole back stretch is all going to be facing the wind. So, going to require some good tee shots. Going to require even better so second shots and tough second, second shots to gauge. Fairway. One, three, three, the number. Wind into the face, so you'll definitely need to account for that. Club up. Hopefully this is the right club. We saw last time that it actually fell a bit short. Try and get this one all the way to the flag. Come back down. Beautiful shot there. Use that backstop nearly to perfection. And I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we have a uh, nine footer putt on 16 here really to come really back and make that shot. birdie, make that this shot back that we just dropped. For birdie. You see, we got a, a right to left or up the hill. I can't see it moving too, too much, but it will definitely have some move on it. Uh, that I'll tell you, putting has there. felt sensational out in St. Andrews to start off and our tournament. That is such a great shot that we just par. had. Beautiful play here. Frank, this really is an amazing hole. The road hole, 17 at the open, old 17th hole, par four, 450, 445. Sorry. In front of you. How brave are you? How much can you take it over the corner of that uh, clubhouse? So uh, you'll see. A and there we go. You, you can see course, we're taking it over um, the beautiful hotel. clubhouse. Um, ideally, you want to take it over the U in course, and that should find the center of the fairway. You go a little further right of that, then you better hit it long. It's a great shot here. Beautiful shot there. The grandstands are full. The patrons are loving it. And this one's still going to roll out to the rough in the thick rough. Wow, we got a bad uh, break too there. Strong for this hole, eh? Probably right need to go a little way. bit more right and of that. Big hit, though. 
All right, well, for a second shot here at 17. Let's see if he can finish with a good one. This try and hack this one out. Hopefully, we don't end line. this one long, but there is wind. We are in the rough. It says 100%. Not sure. Not sure EA knows how to program rough in this game, but that is okay. And it will check up, but it's going to be on that left side. And in a way, I'm glad that's not on the green because that would have been a horrible attempt at a putt there. We'll get that one back into the fairway. Just past, just long left. But we will have an opportunity to use this flop shot that we've actually put together pretty nicely today and see if we can't land this one right by the pin to tap in for a par and head to 18 and finish up our round one in style this one is not catching Ooh, the wind no. at Ooh, all the hall. Uh, that's weird considering now. there's massive gusts and now i mean away. and it just completely jumped out to the left on me there, but not well quite on that sucks this is a, a very scrambly last few holes but totally expected out here i mean we were going to have squeaky clean scorecards all week 17. to have you know 14 holes at 500 par and then bogey birdie bogey i mean i wouldn't i would say that's normally you know crap in a bad way to finish but out here Frank, definitely no take that every day the wind hole. is 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 absolutely punishing us as we approach this beautiful final hole the there should be a little the cinematic of us walking over that ever famous bridge here i'm talking about it now if you're very long come on mike good tee shot here get us up snuggle close to the green get out of here with a birdie five under was famous was a sensational score let's try and get back there four under would still be fantastic and this one should be able to nestle up Just right close to the green. The round, and this will be rhythm, a very, fairways, very makeable chance at another birdie place. to get That's back to that did, 500 right number. There. Really feels almost like a par free back nine. There was a couple at the beginning, but we have gone birdie or bogey every single time. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, as we get a big round of applause from the pa patrons. As going over a couple strategies here with the caddy, maybe from taking some mental Iona, notes. This is second. Well, it was an impressive effort off the tee, but here we are in the Valley of Sin, a piece of land that's fraught with enough history to earn its own biblical surname. That was not my best effort. That tempo was so slow and sloppy. I'd like to have that one back, I think. This one looks pretty straight up the hill. Maybe a tiny bit left to right. Oh my gosh, it broke Ooh, even more than I thought. Leave just a of well, feet. that's a bit of an unfortunate ending. I mean, really, really can't be upset with a 400 round to start start our, okay, so you know, open championship by any last. means. That is a sensational that's round of golf. Up, I felt like round, total in control of the putter for most of the round. Par. Nine well, under? Golfer here today. Had some moments, but maybe not the round one you're looking for, Frank. Too many mistakes, Rich. Uh, right now, don't think about the leader. Just worry about improving your own game. Am I getting so chirped for, for a 68 at, at a major PGA championship Tour. open? Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road. Nine the under? Masters. Who are these afternoon guys? That seems a bit unrealistic. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Nine under par at San Andrews and 15 mile per hour wind seems a little ridiculous. I guess we'll head to day two. I was feeling confident. I'm not so confident anymore. 14 to 20 mile per hour, per hour wins. It's only going to get harder. We are at four under and tied for 58th at the Open Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, this was unexpected. I'm not going to lie to you. I came out of that thinking four under was going to be inside the top 15. And here we are tied for 58th as the leader EA shoots Sports a nine under opening round. With the Holy crap. All right. Well, things just got interesting of the year. We're gonna we're gonna have the Today, afternoon tea times. Second round you see Harris English shoot a six under, Chaz so Max Dillon fives and fours under four under. So I mean scoring conditions, I guess. I mean we were almost five under. I guess it's not that ridiculous to think that somebody went out there and Alex shot you know sixty two. He's at nine. Under. Wow, dude, that is wild, and we are going to be clubbing down and, and aiming way out to the right. This can change dramatically depending on the day. Be curious. Uh, how'd you handle this sort of discrepancy in tea time? Yeah, that's a much better shot here at one. Yeah, that's. I'm glad you brought that up, Rich. That's what a lot of people don't realize. You can have like what we call early, early, which is like 6:30 off, first off in the morning, and then you get about 11 o'clock tea off time the next day. Or conversely, you can be just before 11, and then tea off at 4 o'clock. You would think that's the worst possible draw, 
but sometimes the wind just abates in the afternoon and you can get very, very lucky with almost no wind for four or five hours. And that is the key, especially with golf course like St. Andrews. You heard them talking about it. I mean, maybe that's the case. The guys that went in the afternoon got very little wind and were able to just shoot insanely low screen. scores around here, whereas Roberti. we went off in the morning yeah, and we had to battle gale force winds. And unfortunately for us today, the, the wind is not abated as, right. as you know, Nablo was talking about. It is very strong. It is very gusty. You just saw our pro shot sail probably 30 extra feet that I was anticipating to the left we'll get another good putt up the yeah, up the hill that, there leave ourselves with a very easy tap in on one but i mean if you're looking at that cut line which i just had a peek at the top and you see four under par is the cut line at the open championship i would have told you you were absolutely insane and out of your mind but it is the scorer's paradise when there's no wind and unfortunately more than half the field shot that so for us I'm not going to let it bother me, you know. We we had a sensational round yesterday. We know we can piece it together, even in the wind. And that is that is insane to see people shoot that low on day one. It's just to the right of Cheap's Bunker. Yeah, another good tee shot here. It might trickle out to that left rough, depending on the kick it gets. Ah, uh, this 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 another hill here should keep it in the fairway, the and a beautiful shot there at number two. We will have 137 yards back into this pin, and I say that back because the wind the is just absolutely absurd. We are going to we have to club up here. That's got to be I'm, I'm only going to say this once I am I, I'm only going to say this once because I've talked about it in many many other videos EA if you're listening which you probably aren't the way you have your wind mechanics on tee shots might be the worst programming in potentially any video game and I actually mean that you cannot have a tee ball set up 30 yards to the right of the flag which I just was I don't even care that it's 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. When when I make contact with a ball, the wind doesn't immediately affect a golf ball. It's like left. That's that's not how wind works. I get that you probably pick like if I hit it well and I've picked a target and you know where the wind's going to take it, you probably just have that line there as you're coding and you're like that's what it's going to get to who cares what it looks like but if you're trying to go for golf simulation and a real feel that is the stupidest thing a golfer would see on the golf course it just would never and i mean never jump to the left off a perfect okay, slash point one percent shot that's it just that wouldn't bad from that far away this from about 10 feet One sec, guys. Sorry. Just sending a important message there, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, anyway, I, again, I, I'm not going to... How do I go on? There we go. I'm not going to keep, you know, harping on it. It is what it is. That is, with all the talk about how unrealistic rollouts are in this game, and you see you see a lot of people complaining about the physics. Yeah, I mean... Oh, man. It's, it's a good putt. It's a very on. difficult good location. Putt. Unfortunately Nothing for us, we are going to get a bogey here very early and dip below that cut line. Okay. That's not what you like to see here, but lots of holes remaining, a little bit frustrated. That to me is by far the dumbest thing this game has in it. I, I, if I misaim that, that is totally fine. I, like, I will take, you know, I, I will understand that maybe I misunderstood what the wind direction was doing. It is 20 mile per hour winds. It could just spin it out a completely different direction. But I think that is so unbelievably stupid that a ball just hops to the left immediately because the wind is pointing left. 
And that wind does not just magically so add this sort of mystery line directly to where the ball should end up. So, again, I'm not so going to keep again, harping on it. I'm going to bring it up once. Right side, that is just very silly. We'll move past there. it. That bogey was that was a tough out from that bunker. We, I'm happy we got it out of that bunker. Pretty solid putt, now, just a little just bit, under yards, little bit offline. So, stare down his second. All right, into the wind here. Going to have to club up to a 52. This might not even be enough club, to be honest with you. This should be good, but it's going to get a lot of rollback. That wind is going to make all of these shots just that much more difficult. 26 feet, 9 inches. And I guess our hopes now is we just got to see what the AI do. Because AI don't seem to be drastically, you know, affected by wind. So hopefully, you know, hopefully if we don't, aren't able to shoot, you know, too low in this, this back stretch that we don't get completely screwed over by people dropping six, seven under in this second half of the round. But we can't control that. We, we literally can only control our own game. And yes. that is a putt for the ages as we erase that bogey at freaking number two with a beautiful birdie here at number three. That was one of the best birdies, one of the best putts that I've had in a very long time. And that could be the difference between making the cut and missing the cut at the Open Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we head to the par four, four 419 yards. Any hole that wind is gonna be with us is gonna go a long way. But as we know with the way the direction was yesterday, these first, you know, first holes of the, uh, the course are all gonna be playing into the wind as we go away from the clubhouse. Try and put good swings on every shot. Doesn't matter if it goes that far. This one is definitely not going that far. Should come back off that they hill. That Fescue doesn't hold ball that much. We are in a flat right part of the fairway, the which is a very odd scene here. But we have 210 yards left into this, this par four. Is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. There we go. Get a good kick. Stay, just stay up, just stay up, just stay up. All right, we can work with that. We can work with that, ladies and gentlemen. It is not close, but look here at birdie. It'd be very easy to underread this putt. There is break on it from left to right, particularly as it nears the hole. Kind of just guessing at this point. I just want to nestle this one close to the cup. Yep, that's well, fine. We'll take that. Three feet, nine inches. It should be a pretty straightforward up the hill putt. Or down the hill putt. Sorry. I guess that putt was up the hill. Oh, no. Just a lack of concentration there. It'll cost him. <laughs> EA Sports is a horrible company. <laughs> that one oh, man. Off. That Years said it was two degrees below my feet. And that won't help that is That is right to left. Hit the entire way and it stays dead straight like chance here at the par five fifth oh my Frank god that should Lure never have happened yeah, well that that's a that's a bad look is, uh, there the uh, well we'll take ownership for it i guess uh, i guess you so can say that was shot, just a bad putt but nice holy target, jumpings man second shot coming up that doesn't make any sense if the ball is below your feet and it looks like it's moving <laughs> away it's gonna move away i don't care i don't care what course you're on like come on man but we got a par five here. We gotta we gotta make up a birdie. It's a very long no long there. hole with the That's wind. We still have 258 on St. Andrews fairways is kind of unheard of to be honest with you. I can't believe that putt. That is that's worse than the wind. But we just squeeze this one up. Just squeeze this one up. We will have a putt at Eagle. An Eagle would be great. It'd get us in red figures for the day. 24 feet. The difference in the way the game is 28 feet, 4 in inches. I don't know what I just said. The States, in the US, yeah, this one is air, definitely moving the to the, to to the, the left. Location here. You play that baby right on the ground. That was well done. Yeah, the biggest problem is when is the ball going to stop? Ah. That's what you have to judge. That just did not break. That was uphill was I don't understand Should how that was fast. About eighty percent of the time, it's for birdie. Yes, a good. This read. is a it's sluggish, a grindy five. round here, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I think the problem that I have in this game, and 
you know, I, it's easy for me to say, nah, I don't let it affect me. But seeing the cut line does somehow, I think, affect me. I think I start overthinking six. shots. I start getting a little frustrated at things that maybe I shouldn't get frustrated at. The coffin bunkers on the left and a series of bunkers on the right. Here we go. Let's not let that cut line affect us. Oh, excellent position here, just uh, somewhere between 90 and 100 yards. Should be able to dial a wedge in nicely. Second shot coming up, just 97 yards left to the flag stick. All right. 90 yards into 20 mile per hour winds. I think I'm going to club up to a 52 degree here, ladies and gentlemen. This might seem like a lot, but. I just can't see I can't see getting there with anything other than it and I mean this is barely there and left so I think I'm just having a really hard time understanding the the wind because the wind even from this shot it is pointing back to where we were in the fairway but this just moved a lot look at that flag it's going directly left to right from here which means if we were facing it it would be directly into us I'm not quite sure how this just skipped that much to the left but I mean it is what it is. Like I said, just gotta stay calm, gotta stay patient. We'll get our we'll get our opportunities to try and dip in a few more. That, right think? now on, on so holes like this, you so, gotta so be able good. to find a way to to get in without making a mistake. And we will do just that with the tap in par. Kind of kind of stop the weird stretch of holes, bogey birdie, bogey birdie. And now we just gotta Got to continue to march forward. There's some guys scoring okay, low, but that's not going to change my strategy. Yard, I, I'm not even. I'm not even going to look at that cut line again until we get closer to to the end of the day. The it's just there really is no point. It just sets yourself up for a lot of heartbreak. Of the putting surface. We'll just try and continue to hit good shot after good shot. Just get the repetitions going. That is a beautiful shot there. This one right yeah, in the middle of the fairway. Nice it's going to be up a bit on the hill. Oh, it actually got down that hill. That is just probably Gotta what's for best. We got 100 yards as we're on the right more. side of this, this green this time. Into the wind. I'm going to club up to a 50 or to a P wedge this time, actually. And it's a good thing we did because this is barely, this isn't even going to get to the pin. That is wild, man. It is definitely every no, bit of 20 mile good per shot. hour wind out there Inside today. 20 feet, I would but we left so ourselves in a really very, very good ch a good chance for a bird here. Down the hill, slight right to left, maybe maybe a cup right to left. Uh, the pace that is exactly what we needed. There, that could not have come slope, at a much better time. Birdie. That is beautiful as we yeah, head to the final two holes here of this front nine. Tied for 41, we are now... I'm not, I know that just right away without even looking at the cut line number is. That puts us above the cut line, which is which is something that is good. So I don't want to look at it. I don't even want to think about it. But once that flag gets on the left side, this one, the hole becomes a little bit more difficult. Aim it way to the left, club down. Very hard to hit it close, though. Wow. This wind is absurd. This is so tough, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys understand what the magnitude of how and tough this is right now. We are in green, major tournament settings, which means everything Sitting is playing crazy fast. Even for St. Andrews, it's playing crazy fast. Crazy winds on a course where undulation is king. That it's just so hard. That's a Way pretty good, good. spinner. I'd have no idea snatched. again why that's going out so far to the left. But this is a 13 footer. Looks like it's a bit on a hill. Come on, Mike. This would be such a momentum saver. Damn, dude. 
That snapping that hard with that much pace? Really? And yeah, then the comebacker well done, slower, didn't even try to move. Three, and that's oh, what a sloppy, sloppy front nine from your boy. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, this is, we're trying to, and I mean, bunkers, guys bunkers, out there shooting 10 under par is just so stupid. So this only uh, it is what it is, like that, that's just the AI being the AI. We know that's, we've known that from week one. We know that's, well, oh, I just dusted off the top of my monitor, and I guess I really need to dust it, because that was disgusting. If you do... You're walking out of here with a three, or you could knock it on and maybe bump one in, putt one in for an eagle. Why is my... Oh, God. <gasps> stay out, stay out, stay out. Nope. Why is and my three wood not getting well any dis or any height? Like plenty of shots my, just that like is that very, very odd indeed. that I'm not getting Rolls any height with sand. my bunker shots. Or with bunker shots, three wood shots. Now we have a bunker shot. We gotta pick this one a long way, so. It's pretty good out. That is a pretty good out, all things considered. We had to get it up over that lip. Couldn't ease back too much. 43 feet is might seem like a long way, but when you're in a fairway bunker that is that big. With a lot of work left to be done. Mm, yeah, that's good putt. Pretty good putt. It's a good putt. A little bit off the mark. It's a safe putt. Just to tap in there for par at the ninth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a is very interesting looking scorecard to say that we have remained at even par. And Dylan, starting off the backside here at Saint or whatever with his name is, has dropped in a almost unrealistic like round, but Bobby it is what it is. You know, open that is that is the nature of the beast that we have to constantly right deal with. But for us, just stay focused. Like there, there's no point in panicking. Yards. There's no point in getting you know worked up about what we got to try and achieve on this back nine. We know we can score here. Let's just go out and do it. Execute perfectly. And uh, you really never know. We, we can piece together, you know, a four or five under back nine and be right near the top of these guys. I, I, I Like I said, I don't think if you told me that the, the leader would currently be sitting at 11 under par or whatever seven. that he is, I think he would have been probably absolutely crazy to say that. This might be... This might not be enough club. Nope. Not enough club. Wow. Holy jumpins, this is... I guess that is downhill. I did not expect that to roll out, though, That's coming in from shot. the right right and side angle with wind green, right to left. I thought that for sure. Jumps. Okay, well, we'll take that. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And this is a putt you should make seven out of ten times. Looks to be dead straight. Nothing to push it offline. All right, Noda, I'll trust you. I'm going to aim a little bit right because it looks like it's moving right at the beginning. Tough start to the backside, Frank. I knew it was doing that, it and I even, I even, I even played for it, and it's still, still moving more than that. So, gosh dang, you're not going to have much more of a straighter putt than that out here. It's a par here. Oh, that, that would have, that would have gotten a long way to get that one started with a beautiful shot there, but. Patrick Cantley now making himself known. He is tied for he's in solo second, I think that just said. Par three, 174. We gotta we gotta start making something move here. Something's gotta start uh, start dropping for us. really take anything on this green. You make a two hit, you'll make a move on the field. You heard the man, a two would be gaining strokes on the field. This looks to be a really good shot. It's gonna be left. But that is a pretty solid shot here into a very difficult pin okay, placement up over that bunker. 22 feet remaining here, birdie. guys. I mean, do I expect to make this Good one? Probably not. Here, 22 feet away. It's going to be slamming hard to the left, and then it's going to come back to the, hard to the right. Then it's going to be coming back to the left near the pin. Nah, a little firm, a little firm on that one. Two feet, 11 that inches. One winds up undercutting the hole. 
Pars okay. don't hurt, though. Four, we got a 4-4-5 four, four, and, and then four straight par 4s right. to end the day. No more par 3s. All very scorable here. Now we have to make a move. Now we have we we know what the goal is. I'm gonna say we have to be two under, three under. Not because of the cut. Again, I don't care about the cut yet. We need to be there to maintain what these guys are doing out on the golf course because to me this is absolutely insane. What some some of these guys are are doing right now. Probably take out the long iron and play it down the left side. That'll still give you a short approach in. Yeah, but what's fun in that? I'd rather just take a take a three wood and, and send it onto the green. Thoughts? Slow down, Nelly. All right, well that's gone, but a lot better oh, height on that 79 feet apex. That's better than 60 that we were getting. This is going to be a tough tough comebacker though. It'll take some effort from this buried lot, but a chance now to still reach this green in two. Sit soft. There we go. Gives ourselves a chance. Nine feet. And for a short little shot, the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult because the rough gets between. Look at that pitch mark. Didn't even fix our, fix our ball mark. Come on. Considered. This is straight. I'm playing this straight. Don't care. Even if it breaks, that was my mistake yesterday. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a Let's go, baby. Come on, 12. Mike. And Come on, Mike. Just wind up being the difference as for the moment that's going to move him inside the cut line in his quest to play the weekend. Here at the par 4, 13th hole at the old course, Frank, what's the best play? Power, or do you go with precision? Well, you'd like a nice mixture of both there, Rich. You can take those coffins out of play. That's the name for those series of bunkers down the middle. And Come on, Mike. Got a much Let's get things going. In. And then you've got a chance to actually have a full well, Ladies and gentlemen, screen. if you saw my last couple of videos, I talked about the fact that I have a brand new laptop coming, which is going to make editing so much easier. <laughs> It's got Final Cut Pro on it. It's going to have Adobe After Effects. So there's going to be a lot of really fun content that is going to be excelled with the editing. Okay, stay there. Well, that's unbelievable that that just rolled nope, up that hill. That wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price as this ball going to run off the fairway and into the bunker. What a great bunker shot. I don't even care that this is long. That is an unbelievable out from a very difficult fairway bunker that oh, I realistically that should have never been team. in. That was that was a horrible, horrible tee shot decision. I, I really, I'm not entirely sure why I decided to be that aggressive there. Kind of just a misjudging. You've got to see the line in your head. A lapse in my judgment. Foot and a half in front of you and aim for that. Go in the hole, please. Oh my gosh. Good putt. Be beautiful putt. An acceptable effort from that range. Here we go. Down the hill. Pretty flat, actually. So we're sailing along in these back nine. We got a par five here. We know we got to capitalize on it. Like I said, six under par is my goal. There's going to be a lot lower scores than that, but six under I think is is a very realistic goal. If we can drop a couple more than that coming down the stretch, then I'm totally obviously okay with that. Now, if you get in trouble here, you can bail out with your second shot down the left, which is the fourth fairway. That's one other option. What is it to carry that? But a good tee shot. And you can certainly go 429 to there even with rollout i don't think i'm gonna even with rollout i can't see myself really getting into too much trouble it's like 480 to roll out through the fairway even this even if we carry this right one side. so we carried it 307 well, it's gonna get that 100 yard rollout better than that that is a fine is this actually gonna right find there. the end of the fairway i think we're perfect I think we're perfect. I think that is absolutely money. And that is a long way down there, ladies and gentlemen. How much rollout do we think we got? For over 100 yards of rollout. 411-yard drive. And that is just... That's what you need. That is exactly what you need. I'm going to club down twice here because the wind is so absurd. Just catch a piece. Just catch a piece. Landed so hard. But it'll trickle out to this collection area behind the green, maybe even to the rough, which isn't the end of the world. A great shot. Just missed it a fraction we the will have this opportunity to, to flop this one back puck. in. Still make four. Come on, Mike. 
Why is that going right? Nobody's really going to be happy after that shot. Yeah, I, I get that. That really is a interesting club choice. At this par five. But like, come on, dude. Whoa, that snap to the right up nope. that hill. That was weird. Good, good putt there, though. It's it's really too bad that I couldn't get that one closer. I think flop was a really stupid choice. But okay, good I guess putt. we'll clean up for our par. Oh, that one stings. That one stings that we're, you know, we had such a great tee shot. A pretty solid second shot just ran through the green. And best we walk out of there with, with a five. That's that's tough to, 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 to swallow. It kind of dampers, you know, what was excellent. The railway sheds and the grounds of the old course hotel landing on a narrow fairway beyond. Time to be aggressive, baby. Time to be aggressive. What is that bounce? <laughs> straight down. That's going to be Lance, tough from there. Here's the hill. So we land on this coming, side of the hill to bounce it forward. No freaking way that would, would ever happen. Come on, EA. I'm not even are. trolling either. Some there is no bumps. possible way that would ever happen with a ball like that where it catches something and just pops straight up in the air. What an absolute joke that is. My word. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. St. Andrews is just playing with my emotions right now. But still, inside 40 feet, just going to have to be careful with I mean, this the leg putting. I hope you guys understand how hard this course actually is playing, even even though you see AI dropping 11, 12 under par, which whoever programmed their, their St. Andrews scores in 20 mile per hour wins. Much more on that putt. I'm not going to tell him to give him a raise, but you should probably figure out what to do with that guy because okay, he's on some sort of acid trip right now. Oh, uh, that is so unlucky. Breeze. That was that was the perfect line to hit it on that side of the hill to get such a perfect bounce to end up in the right, fairway. And it just coming in at an angle like this and goes, the house, standing up in one oh, of these man, aggressive. Like, I'm not going to deny that that was an aggressive well, line and maybe what I probably should have taken. But like, bruh. And sort of flash it down the right side but really there's not much of an advantage rich unless you're the longest hitter in the business so a little short and a little left of the principal's nose is a nice setup for the second shot here at 16. nope we're being aggressive oh, we are really one good. i just glanced we are one shot up on the cut line we are six strokes back of the lead there is a zero percent chance that i am not going for anything and everything that we possibly can as we have driven the green here, and we have a long way for an eagle, but we do have an eagle putt. Playing this dead straight, there is like no movement in this. Oh, I sallied it. That's not going to get there, I don't think. Oh, it did. So even a flat surface, we got it there. All right, all right, all right. Look here for Come on, Mike. Yes. Gets to that 600 number with two holes remaining. Now the goal is to build on that. If we can get one more out of two holes, two is extraordinary. One more, I think, is setting ourselves up for a good weekend. And we're, we're now 600 par. We're two shots clear of the current cut line. Very scorable holes if you can get the ball in the fairway. I still cannot believe that if you would have told me that a six under would only be two shots clear of a cut line at St. Andrews, I would have told you you were absolutely insane. But I mean, it is playing scorable. I just don't think that the AI is really calculating for what the wind is doing. But for us, we need to know how to manage that. Ooh, and right now, the back nine is a way better example of managing that wind than the front nine was. Is This needs to sit as well, but it should kick a little bit to the right. Yeah, that bunker not coming into play. We are a long way down there again. 74, 74, 74 yards. yards. Distance remaining here for his second to this par four. sits off for me one time dude it's just so hard to attack these pins when it when it's so fast and you got 20 mile per hour wins that is so so very difficult to attack it 17. 
and a very makeable look here not too much undulation at all maybe just a slight move to the right yep oh way more move to the right gonna sneak wow by. that that snapped on me in the last three feet of that hole that's an aggressive movement for for that much that that small amount of, of distance no problems there but i mean look at the back nine compared to the front i mean you eliminate one or two of those and we're sitting very very close to the top again we're, we're playing exceptionally well we know what we need to do here at 18. a part i mean a bogey probably secures the weekend but we don't even want to think about that right now let's get in the clubhouse inside the top 25 if possible we are currently 27th a lot of people will aim at the clock tower, which is on the uh, the RNA building in the distance. That's a little left of this green. And if you feel a little brave and you want to make a hero of yourself, just aim a little further right, exactly where the green is. Avoid the valley of sin, and you might get the car path. A dram at the end of the day. <laughs> well, I didn't get the kick that I wanted because I wanted to be back, you know, 100 yards. But we'll be back 86. We'll make the famous bridge walk again, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first opening rounds, round one and two of the U.S. or U.S. Open. Second that was show. last major of the, the um, Open Championship. There's still a lot of work ahead of us. We still got to clean this up. But it was a lot of fun. Again, the scores seem absolutely ridiculous right now. This is just, it's so hard to gauge the wind, what the wind's going to do from inside 100 yards. It's crazy. Uh, it's a bit of a Another turn, long one, really 29 a feet. This would for sure get us within top 25. Far from the best shot I've seen today. Down the hill, right to left the whole way. a lot of right to left tell you what that's not not a no gimme here at 18 away. this is this is uh this is crucial that we bury this one and there you have it ladies and gentlemen we will finish our second round at 200 par 600 for the championship and i mean what a ridiculous event this is shaping up to be. This is quickly turning into unrealistic times at, at the Open Championship. But I mean, hey, it's St. Andrews. It is short. It is attackable. Again, I just don't think that the AI are, are coming into, uh, you know, contact with the wind that we're dealing with. But there you have it. Day three, which will be in the next video, is slowed down. We are going to use that to our advantage. We are going to we're going to try and make as many birdies on day three as possible. I still strongly believe, even though we're six strokes back, that if we piece together two final rounds that are really, really solid, I think we have a legitimate chance of winning this thing. Right now, we just got to deal with the low rounds being shot by the AI. That should ease up on one of these two days, just the way that trajectory of the way it goes. But guys, hope you're enjoying this. This is a full length video. Rounds one and two. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you disliked. Uh, it seems like there's a lot lower scores than I anticipated, but we're still in this thing. And we have what we have two days to show that we are. So thank you guys so much for walking, watching. We'll catch you guys back in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.